welcome back to another video on the channel. Let me fix my camera up. And there we go. Today we're going to be working on our playoff bracket. Now my screen sharing, my screen sharing software seems to be busted right now because my audio is like a few seconds behind. So I'm just going to have to throw up some pictures of the bracket and then I'll talk about them with the camera. So if you haven't already, subscribe, like, all that jazz. And I'll see you in the video. You should have just seen the first picture. This is just the bracket. Well, the bracket here. Here's how it goes. We'll start with the AFC. Number one seed, the Kansas City Chiefs. They get the bye. Number two seed is the Bills. They play the they play the number seven seed, Miami Dolphins. The number three seed, Bengals. Play the number six seed, Ravens. The number four seed, Jaguars. Play the number five seed, LA Chargers. Which is probably going to be one of the more interesting games out there. Then when you come to the NFC, you see the number one seed Philadelphia Eagles get the bye. Annoyingly, I hate the Eagles. The number two seed 49ers play the number seven seed Seahawks. The number three seed Vikings. Frauds play the number six seed Giants. The number four seed Buccaneers play the number five seed Dallas Cowboys. Now, based on this, I think the I think really. The Lions deserve to get that seventh spot over the Seattle Seahawks. I don't think they deserve that spot, but we'll talk about what happens and why it happens right after you see this picture. Okay, so here's my wild card picks. As you probably just saw, San Francisco over Seattle. I think San Francisco can destroy Seattle, but I also like the story that that Geno Smith has kind of taken. I don't get why he's a candidate for Comeback Player of the Year, though, because he kind of just sucked for a while, and now he's good, but whatever. What I'd love to see is I'd love to see him come back, shock everyone, beat San Francisco, knock them out so we don't have to play them, and also the fact that we don't have to play Philly either, but I have a reason why we'll play Philly later. But I don't think that's going to happen. San Francisco. Giants over the Vikings. Upset. The first upset of them all. This really is video is not really packed with upsets, but I, I guess I could call some upsets and some not upsets. Point is, Giants I think are on an emotional high right now. I think they have the upper hand when it comes to skill because their Vikings' pass defense is atrocious, so I think they're going to exploit that. I think their O line's kind of in shambles right now. They'll exploit that. I also think that Dory Jackson will play a better game against just yeah Justin Jefferson than Fabian Moreau did, so I think. They can hold him down. Also, look, Landon Collins, a little sleeper pick. I think he'll play a good game against C.J. Hawkinson. Much better than Jalen Smith or Michael McFadden or something. And then Bucks over Dallas. Dallas is going through that cycle again of we're good and we suck. Recently, they almost, I think they almost lost to the Titans. They lost to a third-string Washington football team. No, we're not Washington football team. Washington Commanders. Commanders, Washington Commanders. I'd rather say football team or Warriors or something like that. You had all the names. Point is, to a third string team that didn't have a name in previous years, they they lost to that team. I just think the cycle's going to continue, especially against top playoff Tom Brady. I just don't think you're beating him when you got that kind of a cycle going on. And yeah, those are your divisional. No, not divisional. Those are your wild card picks. All right, moving on to our divisional picks. Yes, I picked the Giants over the Philadelphia Eagles. Get over it. I picked the Giants. Get over it. Here's why. And it is a really good reason why. Beating the Vikings after losing to them by a 61-yard field goal is going to put you on an even higher emotional high. Going to say that, yo, nobody thought we could win. Nobody thought we could win any games, but now we're in the divisional against Philly. And I don't think I've ever seen the Giants lose to a divisional rival three times in a season. I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't think they're going to lose three times to Philadelphia. And also, I'm a homer. Which means I have a slight bias, but I also think they have a chance. Because look at what they did with our third string player, with Davis Webb at the helm. We lost by six points with Davis Webb at the helm. Davis Webb was literal. Davis Webb let an almost come back. Only few quarterbacks have done that. Davis Webb had let an almost come back and almost beat Philadelphia. 
Think about what happens if we get our starters off an emotional high, off a playoff win behind Brian Dable. Daniel Jones still spitting fire. I think they I think they beat Philly. I think they beat Philly. Get over it. Now, San Francisco. They beat Tampa Bay. I, I just don't think because remember, Brock Purdy is not the reason why San Francisco is winning. He's a reason, not the reason. It's kind of like Tom Brady versus the entire San Francisco team. Because remember, Tom Brady's kind of carrying San Francisco, but also San Francisco's kind of carrying Brock Purdy. So it's mostly just kind of Tom Brady versus the entire San Francisco team. And as much as Brady, as much as Brady's kind of a likable pick in that battle, I don't think they upset them. We're going to go San Francisco over them. Moving on, Bills Chiefs. Chiefs, I just don't I just don't think that the Jags have enough of a Cinderella run inside of them to be able to do that. They're not really pushed that much. I think Trevor Lawrence is just having a few good weeks. And Bills Bengals. Given that the Bills lost some one of their own in the last game, almost lost one of their own. They did not lose DeMar Hamlin. He's doing quite fine actually. I think they're going to be on an emotional high, and I think they're going to take that, and I think they're going to ride that through that game. They're either going to light up Cincinnati, or it's going to be a really good game down to the wire, and we're going to see that playoff overtime, those playoff overtime rules come into effect. Then it's going to be Bills, Chiefs in the conference game, Giants, 49ers in the conference game, rematch! Okay, so there's a few different endings to this. Most of them consist of most of them consist of Buffalo. I think all of them consist of Buffalo winning. But here we go. I think in one of these the Giants could beat San Francisco because I think the emotional high is just going to carry them. I think they have I think they have the skill, I think they have the ability, and I think after beating Philly and Minnesota, I just don't think you lose to 49ers because they're not much worse. They're not much better than those guys, if any better. But that's just me spitballing. I also put an event where the 49ers end up going there and winning the Super Bowl. But yeah, I think in in my eyes, as a Giants home fan, I find the Giants could win that game because they beat better opponents. But then again, if I think logically, logically the 49ers win because they're the AFC or whatever, I, I don't I don't follow that. But also, Buffalo, I think it's going to be another but I think it's just going to be another big game. I think they're going to have to play those playoff overtime rules again. I think it's going to be like that. I think it's going to be just like the last game except probably less scores and also yeah, less scores and I think the Bills are going to end up winning because of the DeMar Hamlin and I So what happened to DeMar Hamlin, I think we'll actually take the Bills there and most likely get them a win. But also the Giants, kind of, the Bills just find ways to lose Super Bowls for some reason. I don't know how. I think they lost four. Th- I think they lost three in a row, and they lost four in the in the in the eighties, nineties. So I just don't think they win the Super Bowl because of that. But also the Demar Hamlin high kind of changes things. But who knows? I think it's one of these four teams. I think I think it's going to be the Bills. I think it's going to be the Chiefs. I think it's going to be the Forty ers or the New York Giants. But hey, what what sleepers are gonna what sleepers are gonna make some upsets? This bracket doesn't consist of many upsets. Well, I think I think Tampa over Dallas is an upset, a true upset, a people's upset. And I think that yeah, I think those two are the only real upsets. But yeah, that's that's your um uh, that's your bracket. Giants, Bills, 49ers, Chiefs. I think those are the guys who win. I think that's how it works how it plays out and yeah all i'm saying is i'm gonna have a toast i'm gonna have some tostito scoops and some queso and i'm gonna just enjoy these games i'd love to see the new playoff overtime rules and how those play out and how people react to them like why are they playing extra overtime period i just want to see that but anyways video over i finally made a giants video there you happy you happy i finally did it Finally did it. I made a Giants video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.